Okay, so real quick before we get into this video, I just want to say it's not an action-packed kind of video. I'm putting it on more or less for memories. Uh, a buddy of mine, he's getting married here this summer, and it was a bachelor trip, and this is how I ended my coyote season. And yeah, it's been kind of an off year for me, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, maybe next year I'll actually get, you know, footage of coyote hunting and good kill shots and and it'll all come together but yeah that's all i got guys see you next year coyote hunting hey guys welcome back to another episode so on this one it's gonna be unique i'm in south dakota i'm actually here on a it's a bachelor trip but the guy that you've seen in the earlier episode i believe it was two yeah well he's a coyote hunter so we're coyote hunting and uh yeah it's a pretty good deal i'm actually at the uh broken arrow farms and all the guys are out right now they're getting a bite to eat but here in the morning we're gonna get out and do some coyote hunting and this place is i don't know phenomenal it's insane uh if you're planning a trip or looking for a trip and you got a bunch of guys and this i recommend coming here it's it's really really nice but yeah uh stay tuned hopefully we can get a coyote down um yeah the the weather is looking pretty damn cold so i'm hoping the phone doesn't freeze up but uh yeah we'll see catch you in a bit all right guys real quick so we're at the second spot of the morning here and let me see it's really bright out there's a coyote dead back behind us well anyways we're sitting here and i see tristan he pulls up i'm like what the hell well, there's a coyote just came out of nowhere it's you know this wide open country and it's amazing coyotes can still sneak up on you but we're gonna get down we're gonna take a look at this dog it looks like a really nice coyote but, I don't know, probably a hundred yard shot. It's crazy. <gasps> All right, we're gonna walk down, see what this coyote looks like. So beautiful country out here. But there is, there is pretty good sign. Obviously the call is right there. We're set up, up there, but let's walk down. Like I said, quite a bit of coyote sign. <laughs> he must have came, I'm guessing he came out of over here and then down. I'm guessing. I don't know. It wasn't my side to watch. It was, <laughs> it was Tristan's side. <laughs> and then he goes, where'd that coyote come from? I don't know. It's not even my, it's not even my side. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's really starting to warm up. This morning it was like negative six, negative seven. Now I can walk over here with no gloves on. Oh yeah, it looks like a nice light coyote too. Oh yeah, it doesn't look mangy or anything. Oh, that's a gorgeous one. Oh yeah, little dog, small dog, yeah not very big, That's a... it almost looks like it's got a tish of red, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm guessing female, oh no it's yeah. a really small male, sweet. Yeah, so ravine coming down this way, ravine coming down this way, and by the tracks, looks like came out of this ravine. I don't know, but uh, pretty cool anyways. Well, we're gonna hook up the, the drag and 
get out and hopefully maybe we can get another one here in South Dakota. right in our face. <laughs> Son of a... Gosh dang it. So we're sitting here. As you saw the coyote came up over this hill. We're wondering what in the shit just happened. Because he was coming hard. Hard. He was coming and coming and coming. We're like, why did he just spin around? I mean, we got good backing. Weeds behind us. We're sunk down in the snow. He saw the pickup. He got on the high spot, and where we walked in from through the low area, he came up high, saw the pickup. That's why he spun around that damn quick. We're, we're wondering, like, what the, what the frick? Well, there's a little tip for you guys. Make sure you hide the pickup. 